What's going on folks? Lauren Sisler here with AL.com. Cole Kublik. Hey Lauren, how are you? With the smile on his face. He always does the little cheese, the little cheese symbol. E. We're hanging out, SEC Insider. Uh, we're going to talk a little Alabama football, college football playoff. Alabama coming off the loss to LSU 46 to 41. So Cole, my question for you. I've got one question for you today oh, okay. and I hope that you answer it because I'm sure you will with a lot of energy and a lot of conviction. Does Alabama deserve to be in the playoffs? No. <laughs> I knew he was going to give me a one more answer. Okay, why? That's two questions. First off, context matters here. So you're asking me today, do they deserve to get in today? Yeah. And I'm going to say no because you have Ohio State, you have LSU, you have Clemson, and you have a couple of other teams that I would have on an even playing field with Alabama that I would probably have them ahead just because of what has happened recently to Alabama in losing at home to LSU. Now, if you're asking me to project out at the end of the season, I think it's very possible. I don't think it's a shoe in by any stretch of the imagination. I don't think it's a done deal that even if Alabama wins out, they're automatically in. I think it depends on what happens with Oregon and Utah. Uh -huh. I think it depends on what happens with Minnesota and Ohio State, and how that thing sort of plays out. And I think it mainly depends on what happens with most likely Georgia in the SEC championship game against LSU. Georgia beats Auburn, beats Georgia Tech, is a one-loss team in Atlanta, and somehow upsets LSU, I think you can essentially remove Alabama from that conversation at that point if Clemson and Ohio State go ahead and win out. And obviously, we didn't even mention Oklahoma and what's happening in the Big 12 because they're going to get a quality win against Baylor. I'm talking about if they were to go to be a one-loss football team at the end of the season. Right. They'll knock off an undefeated Baylor team that's probably going to move up in the rankings this week. So there are a lot of different variables as to how something could happen. But I do think these next set of rankings are going to be very telling because we're going to see how much that eye test still matters for Alabama based on a resume that doesn't include a lot of quality wins. So as of right now, okay, question number three. I lied, y'all. Fibby, Fibby, Fibby. Um, as of right now, body of work, I'm assuming when you reference the teams that might be even playing field, you might perhaps put above Alabama. Are we talking Oregon and Georgia? I wouldn't put Oregon. I think, I think Oregon's really close. I don't know if that's that much better than what Alabama's right. done. Right, okay. Um, I think Tennessee winning helps Alabama. I think that could be a seven-win team at the end of the season. That's going to be a benefit. What happens with a and is going to be big mm -hmm. for Alabama. Southern Miss gets a nice win over UAB. I mean, believe it or not, that's what, we're, that's what it comes down to at this point of year. You start taking those kind of opponents and saying, okay, probably need you to go ahead and win out. Need you to get two or three more wins down the stretch. That's going to matter that much. Utah doesn't have the resume, and the only way they even enter this discussion is if they beat a one-loss Oregon team in the Pac-12 championship game. And then they're in the discussion. Still going to be tough for them to get in because the schedule's just not very strong. What about Georgia? I mean, do you think, as of right now, if you compare Alabama and Georgia head-to-head? -head? It's such a cool comparison because I test, which most people are immediately drawn to offense, you're going to say, oh, it's Alabama, easy. Georgia hasn't given up a rushing touchdown. They're top five in rush defense, pass defense, total defense, scoring defense. So Alabama's not even close to that defensively. So why would Georgia not, from an eye test perspective, be as impressive as Alabama? They're just doing it on a different side of the football. And then the really cool part about that comp is, what do you value? Do you value a better loss or do you value better wins? Because Georgia's loss is uglier than Alabama's. No one's going to debate that. But Georgia also has better wins than Correct. Alabama. Correct. When you talk about the fact that they beat Notre Dame and they beat Florida, those are two impressive wins, too, that Alabama really doesn't have anything that's very close to. All right. So one question turned into four. That's how we roll here on SEC Insider. Thank you, Cole Kubik. Appreciate it for all your updates on Alabama and the road to the college football playoff. You can visit us on AL.com.